In the comments of my door seal video, several of you asked about the effects of tire pressure on road noise. So this one's for you. So for the basics of my test setup, I have a VIN 7500 long range rear wheel drive Model 3 with the OEM Michelin MXM4 tires with around 3,000 miles on them. The weather was sunny and calm at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I drove about six miles first to warm up the tires and suspension to try to keep things consistent between tests. So then for the test, I set autopilot to 50 miles per hour on a rough road and a smooth road, first at 39 PSI and then again at 45 PSI. I'll go into the more details of my test method at the end of the video if you're interested in that, but first let's go to the results. Here is the rough road at 39 PSI and 45 PSI and what they sound like. You can see the red and the blue plots are pretty well lined up on top of each other, so there's not much change. If we subtract one from the other, we can really focus in on the difference between them. And yeah, there's really not much there. The dark blue line is a 10 point centered average of the lighter blue, and there really is no clear trend high or low. Here's the smooth road at 39 PSI and 45 PSI and what they sound like. Again, the red and blue are pretty much stacked on top of each other and the difference plot is similar again. There's just no clear trend. So there you go. The results show that tire pressure doesn't really have much of an impact on road noise. And honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't really expect that I would be able to tell a difference because I thought it would be kind of small as far as the sound, like the sound volume goes. But when I was driving it at 39 PSI, I felt like I could feel a difference. Not so much on the roughness of the road, but on impacts like a bridge or a pothole, something like that, that initial hit felt softer. And I thought that would translate to less road noise, but evidently not. So having all this data in front of me really made me wonder, what does good look like? You know, if there was something that we could do that would really help the road noise, what would that look like? So the closest thing I have to that is driving on a smooth road. So I decided to compare those graphs. What does 39 PSI look like on a smooth versus a rough road? So let's take a look at that. So here's rough at 39 PSI and smooth at 39 PSI. And I'll play them back to back again. That's a really big difference, right? You can clearly hear and see a drop of around seven and a half decibels between 50 hertz and 1,000 hertz. So this is the road noise that comes from a rough road surface. You know, in, in these two examples, I'm going the same speed, so wind noise should be the same, and it really isolates just the road noise. So this is what we would like to eliminate. I've done some extensive sound deadening on cars in the past, and I really didn't think it made much of a difference, but I didn't have as good of a test method back then either. So I'm considering trying that again. I'd probably start with the fender wells on the inside of the car, but wouldn't it be great if we could, rather than try to absorb that vibration with a lot of material, if we could just keep it out of the cabin to begin with. So that's what I'm kind of thinking a suspension could possibly do. And I've been working on it. So I have a company that's working on a luxury grand touring suspension, and I'm pretty excited to show it off. So I hope I'm not spending too much money and I'm being too optimistic about what a suspension can do, but 
Stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have something to show here pretty soon. For the test setup details, since a simple decibel meter or app on your phone only gives you a single reading of a peak frequency and you don't even know what that frequency is, it's really not that helpful for this kind of stuff. So instead, I'm using a Tascam DR05 audio recorder to record sound clips. I set the sensitivity to minus 30 decibels and then hold it above the center console to isolate it from vibrations while I'm driving. I set autopilot and say when I reach the speed I want so I'll know in the recordings later what to look for. Back at the computer, I open the recordings in Audacity, find that section of the recording, and listen for a consistent five second clip with no extra bumps or cars or wind or whatever. I export that and also run a frequency response graph at these settings and export it too. This method gives me a visual comparison so I can see not just how much of a difference it makes, but where in the frequency spectrum it makes a difference. And also audio so I can listen to it back to back and kind of validate those results. I think it works pretty well and I hope more people will consider using something like it so we can get some more objective comparisons out there. So personally, I plan to keep driving my car at 40 PSI. I really think I could tell a difference and it could totally just be the placebo effect, but placebos have cured a lot of people. So whatever, why not? I would like to know some more about those impacts and if that's really making a difference, but I don't really have a good way to test that. So if you have any ideas, leave it in the comments. Uh, keep an eye out for our suspension testing video, hopefully coming up pretty soon. And yeah, that's about it. So until next time, thanks for watching.